Hello and welcome to another Most Talented World Build video. This is Spider Virus, and today in this video I wanted to share some of my own bow build and hope it helps you. Monster Hunter being a game of wide range of armors and weapons, sometimes it is hard to determine which combination to choose from depending on the monster's ability, speed and weaknesses. There are 14 different types of weapons and among them the bow is the versatile weapon including the long range arc shot and the damaging power shot. The bow enables a different variety of playstyle and allows its user to be highly mobile. So without further ado, let's jump into our first build. So for this build I'm using Rhyme God Helm Beta, Rhyme God Male Beta, Suffy Crested Fan Brace Beta, Tentacle Coil Beta, Tentacle Graves Beta and Blaze Charm 3. As for weapon, I'm using Silver Wrath Bow with 312 attack, 31% affinity, 350 fire element attack and plus 15 defense. I have augmented this weapon with a affinity increase and a defense increase augmentation. Now moving on to the jewels I have used for this build. Remember you do not need to use all the jewels if you don't have them. I have used two vitality jewels two critical slash physic jewels, a sheath expert jewel, three blaze jewels, you can use whatever element you are using instead, two expert plus jewel, a mighty bow plus jewel and a mind's eye jewel. Having all the armors, weapons and the jewels together, you will have a fire attack maxed, critical eye level 5 increased affinity, Critical boost max, remember this skill only increases the raw portion of the attack. Constitution level 3, constitution reduces stamina depletion when performing any stamina draining moves. Stamina surge maxed, this skill speeds up stamina recovery so you can spam any moves on the bow. Quick sheath maxed, speeds up the weapon sheathing. Health boost level 2. Divine Blaze in level 2, so you can take less damage from a monster attack. Black Resistance level 1 is the byproduct of the armor, but it's good to have. Bow Charge Plus, this skill gives you an extra level on your bow charge. Mind's Eye Ballistics, this skill shortens the distance before arrows reach its maximum power. And last for the interesting part of this build. You have element acceleration from two set of Namio armors. This skill increases elemental damage when continuously attacking a monster. Critical element from two set of Falcon armors. This skill increases elemental portion of your damage when landing critical hits. So if we have everything together, we'll have 312 attack, 55% affinity, 520 fire elemental damage and a massive defense of 998. This build is weak against fire and dragon element but stronger against water, thunder and ice. So that's our first build out of the way, let's move on to our next build. This build is more sort of general build for everyone, having both attack and some general life skills in mind. For this build I'm using Rhyme Guard Helm Beta, Golden Loon Mail Beta, Golden Loon Braces Beta, Tentacle Coil Beta, Tentacle Grapes Beta and a Worm Spain Charm 5. Okay, moving on to weapon, I'm using General Metora Plus with 324 attack, 15% affinity, 210 dragon element attack and low Elder Seal. 
and I've augmented this weapon with the health region augmentation. Again, you can augment with whatever your playstyle suits you. As for drills, I'm using three sprinter physic drills, three vitality drills, three tenderizer drills, two critical physic drills, a dragon drill, and a mighty bow plus drill. Now having all this armors, weapon and the jewels together will have a dragon attack max. Again you can use whatever element you like to use here. Constitution max. Constitution reduces stamina depletion when performing any stamina draining moves. Divine blessing maxed. This skill greatly reduces any incoming damage. Health boost max. Increases your health bar. Critical boost max. Remember these skills only affect your raw portion of the attack. Weakness exploit maxed. This skill increases your affinity when hitting any monster's weak point. I mean in general why wouldn't you want to hit a monster's weak point? Marathon runner maxed. This skill slows down stamina depletion for actions that continuously drain stamina. Stamina surge maxed. This skill speeds up stamina recovery. Resentments level 2 is a byproduct from the armor. This increases attack when you have red potion on your helper. A part breaker level 1 helps break monsters apart easily. And bow charge plus. This skill gives you an extra level on your bow charge. And then we have Divine Blessing Secret from 2 set gold ruffian armor. Helps to get 2 extra level of Divine Blessings. Element Acceleration from two set of Namio armors. This skill increases elemental damage when continuously hitting a monster. Moving on to total stats when we have everything together from this build. We'll have 324 attack, 15% affinity, 350 dragon element attack, low elder seal, massive defense of 985. This build is a tiny bit weaker against fire and thunder, but stronger against water, ice and dragon element. So there you have it guys, hope you have enjoyed the video, if you have, a like and a subscribe would be very much appreciated. See you on my next video, until then take care of yourself and thank you.